Congaree National Park's ancient forests are home to some pretty spectacular natural phenomenon. The park made its name as the home of North America's largest remaining old-growth bottomland forest. As the Congaree River overflows its boundaries, it provides nutrient-rich sediments for the forest's inhabitants, producing some of the largest tree species of their kind anywhere in the United States. The park is home to six national champion trees and 25 state champion trees, and no other park in the United States boasts a higher concentration of big trees. But recently, another natural phenomenon has begun to captivate Congaree's visitors, that of its synchronous fireflies. Each year, from May to June, thousands of fireflies illuminate Congaree's forests, bathing it in their bioluminescent green glow. People have been captivated by the glow of fireflies for centuries, with the first accounts of synchronous fireflies arriving out of Southeast Asia in the 1500s. They also remind us of our childhood, when, on a hot summer's night, you can catch them in jars and marvel at their dazzling display of light. But it wasn't until recently that Congarese fireflies began attracting large amounts of visitors. Accounts of large crowds and habitat disturbance meant the Park Service had to act quickly to protect the very thing these visitors were here to see. And so, the very first Congaree Firefly Festival was held in 2017. What started then as a one-day event has since expanded to a nearly three-week event, attracting tens of thousands of visitors from around the world. During the festival, the Park Service establishes dedicated firefly trails and viewing areas so that visitors can view them at a safe distance and allow the fireflies to synchronize undisturbed. But why? Why do fireflies synchronize? And why have they chosen Congaree to wow us with this beautiful dance of light? Well, there are more than 2,000 species of fireflies worldwide, but only three are known to display synchronously in North America. At Congaree, that species is Photurus frontalis, or the snappy single sink firefly. They range across most of the southeastern United States, from Mississippi to North Carolina and Tennessee, but for some reason, Congaree seems to be home to one of their most impressive displays. Congaree is, after all, one of the only places in North America that the public has access to this synchronous display. And that has to do with the habitat Congaree provides. Photurus frontalis prefer mature forests and wet bottomlands, both of which Congaree has in abundance. They prefer what is called marginal habitat, not quite in Congaree's floodplain, but not quite in its pine uplands either. It's a sort of buffer zone between the two. In other words, they have pretty specific habitat requirements, and Congaree's expansive forests provide plenty of it. But that also puts these fireflies at risk. These specific habitat requirements mean they're more susceptible to environmental changes. And if these habitats begin to disappear, fireflies are not likely to adapt in time. In fact, these forests have been disappearing for centuries which means Congaree's 26,000 acres are one of the largest remaining areas where Photurus frontalis can gather in mass for their annual display. Researchers also believe that light pollution plays a role in Photurus frontalis's ability to synchronize. See, fireflies are visual communicators, and light pollution makes it more difficult to communicate. So Congaree's rural location and dense forests mean it stays pretty dark, perfect for fireflies. But as for why they synchronize, well, that's a different matter. Because while all fireflies do flash to attract mates, not all of them synchronize to do so. And while this display is synchronous, it is made up of thousands of fireflies flashing individually as well. Individuals flash roughly two times per second, and will actually wait to illuminate themselves until the rest of the individuals join in, thus synchronizing the group. And this synchronization is actually part of a competition. A competition for mates. Most of the flashing you see comes from male fireflies, who are trying to win the affection of the females. The longer they're able to flash, the better chance they have of attracting the attention of a female. Females, for their part, tend to be more discreet. They spend most of their time on the forest floor, which, because this is where most of their predators live, they tend to be more subject to predation. So, they tend to sit back and only respond with flashes to a specific male signal. This back and forth is what's known as the photic dialogue. This continues until the female selects a mate, at which point she lays her eggs and the firefly life cycle begins anew. It's this sort of visual language which all fireflies display, 
but it's that synchronization that makes for a truly dazzling natural spectacle. And it's places like Congaree that allow this to happen. Large protected areas that provide critical habitat for a wide range of species. From the biggest trees to the smallest insects, Congaree swamps are home to a rich diversity of life. Life only made possible thanks to its protection. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more stories from the world's protected places, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.